hey, I don't know about you, but how do you manage your to-do list? I mean, I've done to-do lists on paper. I've done it on the computer. I even bought one of these on Amazon that just allowed me to have the same to-do list every day and I would just push this across when I actually had something done. Nothing seems to work. I mean, could AI help us? Well, I think it can. Welcome, I'm Richard Butler and I'm here to give you honest reviews of products that I've bought and used. And today I wanna to talk to you about one which is called Before Sunset. Now, first of all, I like the idea because you should make sure that you get everything prepared before sunset for the next day. What is this tool? Well, first of all, it's on an AppSumo special at the moment. There is a link in the description. Appreciate if you buy through my link as it helps support this channel. But what does it do? Well, it allows you to create a to-do list. So you can set up everything that you want to do today. And then the things that you set for tomorrow become the to-dos of today, tomorrow, if you kind of get what I mean, okay? So as a to-do list, it works very well. But let me show you how this works. So I have my calendars synced here and I've just blurred out uh, items just for privacy reasons. And it syncs with your Google Calendar and it syncs with other tools as well. I'll just show you that in a second. And what I can do is I can create two different categories, work and personal. And when I want to create a task, I go into add new work task, for example, and I type in um, record a video review. I press return and then I can tag this. And I can say this is tagged as video review and I can set a timer. But let me set how long I think this is gonna take. So I'm gonna say 13 minutes. And then what I can do is now I can start my timer. And if I start my timer here, it opens up into a new window and it tells me how long I'm actually taking to do this. Now, what I can do when I'm here is I can stop this if I haven't finished it. And when I go back, it actually tells me that I've done zero minutes of 30 minutes. Very handy. I can actually say here, I want the AI assistant to create a subtask or make this actionable. So by creating a subtask, it'll break that task into what it considers as subtasks. And by making it actionable, it will put in more verbs like create a review and afterwards edit it. That functionality is, is okay. Um, I know what I need to do so I don't create the subtasks. And as well, it's going to cause me problems if I start creating the subtasks because then I said I have too many things to do. What I do like about this tool is there is a button here which is called plan my day. Now, first thing in the morning, what I will do is, and I've just been using this two days, but I actually feel that I've got a lot done today because sometimes we don't put times to our tasks and we feel they're gonna take longer. I mean, I've 15 minutes before I meet a client and I thought I'll just record this quick review. But I would click on plan my day in the morning and it finds the slots in my calendar to put things in. Now, this is really good. However, this is the first challenge that I have with the software. And I've, I've talked to support and I'll talk to you about support in a second. Um, at the moment, it doesn't know your start or end time of the day, which I think is really important because if I decide to put in 15 tasks, it could have me uh, scheduled with tasks until 1 a.m. in the morning. Now, they have told me that they have taken note of that, uh, support that is, and that they will actually fix this. I think this is crucial because if they don't fix this, it's going to be very difficult to really arrange your day. The second thing that I think is really important is it doesn't allow you to prioritize your tasks because, for example, I know I needed to create my uh, videos in the morning, but I wasn't able to prioritize that and say, this one has to be prioritized before this one, before this one. This is something that I used in another piece of software called Reclaim, which I found just too difficult to use. Um, and it used to do that. I've talked to support again, and they say that they're putting that into their system. So right now, it's good as a to-do list, and it has that little bit of AI that it fills in the days and the times for you. And I like the timer element of it. And for 49 bucks, it's a, it's a steal, to be honest. Um, 
but it can do more things. It can say, how do you feel today? And it can record your feelings. If I go into history, it will show me everything that I've done in the last 30 days, which I haven't done anything because I was just testing it yesterday. I have bookmarks, which are um, tasks that I want to use again and again. Now, I haven't really played around with this, but if I just click here, I can say I want to do that tomorrow, rest of week, later, etc. I have my planning here where it just a different calendar view here of all of my tasks, as you can see here. And I can go in and I can see what I have to do today, what I have to do tomorrow, etc. So that's that's really good. Now, what I think is going to be powerful is the analytics. And it tells you at the end of the day how much time you've actually dedicated to each task. So at the end of the day, I would go in here and I would say shut down the day and then it knows that my day is over and it does that analysis of my day and my productivity. And I think this is important, especially for us working from home, solo entrepreneurs, etc. I then have teams. I can uh, have a team workspace and this allows me to have my work and my personal and I could invite team members, depending on which tier I actually buy. I just bought the uh, first tier here to test it out. So I could have team members and we could assign tasks. Then if I go into my settings, I have integrations. So I can integrate with many different tools. And what I like is I can uh, have different calendars. I have two calendars, one for my work, one for my personal life. I can also integrate with other tools here if I wish, with Google Task. So I've already connected those there. Uh, which are really important. I have team where I can invite team members. I have my general here, which I can have the time format in 24 hours or in focus mode. So focus mode uh, will obviously just focus you more. I can turn on focus mode or turn it off. I have it turned on. I have my calendars here. My default event time, it says is 30 minutes. And under more, I can just change my time zone. I can uh, check my plan here that I have and you get 1000 AI credits and the way it works is that planning your day I think is 30 credits. So that 30 credits over 10, 20, I, I guess, I mean, you will you will have a month of, of credits there because if you were to do every single day, that would be 900 credits, uh, assuming there's 30 days and obviously maybe at the weekends you don't work. Okay. You get weekly analytics, multiple calendar integration, unlimited bookmarks, okay? So you can save your essential to-dos as bookmarks to ensure you don't lose them. And that is really it, 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 it works. Ah, there's a mobile app which um, yesterday for some reason my, my phone was just a little bit uh, dodgy and it wasn't, it wasn't connecting. So let's talk about is this worth it? I think at the moment it's definitely worth it. The, I, I'm confident that this is gonna grow into something really good. I mean, there's always gems that you get in AppSumo and there's always ones that you say, eh, it's been three weeks or four weeks and I haven't updated things, etc." cetera. Um, the support interactions that I've had with the company have been excellent. They're, a, they're I mean, they're a, a big-ish company in the sense that they have four, five, six people working for them. And I mean, big compared to sometimes uh, with AppSumo companies, there might be just one or two people bootstrapping it. I could see this getting a lot better. And I think this is one that will definitely help you. I mean, I have felt that I've done a lot more today. Um, I've, I mean, I have one here that says uh, uh, review uh, before uh, sunset. I'm already doing that. I did some stuff this morning that I needed to do and it just keeps me going. Oh, let me show you. So I've my tomorrows. Again, I've blurred things out. I have my rest of week and then I have my laters, which aren't important. When I get stuff, so for example, create a vision board, um, I can actually add a date there or I can move that today, tomorrow or rest of week. Okay, so that's very, very handy. So again, I think if you're like me and you can't arrange your day, I think this is really, really useful. The web version works really well on the iPad, uh, not so well maybe on, on a phone, but there is a phone app, which I have to see why yesterday, whatever happened to my phone, it wasn't working. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a like, if you subscribe to the channel, and if you actually go in and uh, maybe use my link to purchase this.
All right. I'll be back with more reviews next week. Have a wonderful day.